Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. And today we're going to talk to you about the new Tab 320. This is a 2018. I'm going to kind of go over some differences with this. For more information on this particular camper or any other, please remember if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, be sure to ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. I appreciate that. Like my videos if you would. Subscribe. Send me messages. I enjoy all that and uh, I will respond as well. Also check out my how-to videos as well as the product recommendations I have. So let's go on to this Tab 320 and let's talk about this. Now this is this particular model. Of course you can get them in many different colors. As you can see we, we keep a lot of different ones in stock. Uh, you can even have it special ordered so that you can have the color match your vehicle. A little bit extra to do so but we can do that. So on this particular one, is key. This is uh, we have it blue and white. This is from Pleasant Valley Trailers, which is New Camp. And let's kind of go through and show you what we've got. So in the front here, this particular uh, front storage box they have, this is actually where your battery and propane will be. And of course, you do have a battery disconnect. The benefit of having a battery disconnect, folks, is the fact that you're able to disconnect that when you're not using it, so you're not draining the battery. One of the major uh, upgrades for the 2018 uh, Tab 320 is the fact that you, for emptying your tanks, they're coming out one hole, okay? So that way there, and the nice thing with this, when you, after you empty the black tank, which would be the large one here, okay, that's the, for the black tank. When you're done that, you rinse that through, you close that, and then you're opening the gray, which is going to be your soapy water, and that'll clean out the hose for you, which makes it so much more pleasant. All right, so let's take a look on the off-door side. Now, you'll notice these handles on the front here, folks. That allows you to go ahead and move this trailer around. You just grab the front, and you're able to move this thing around if you have, you know, relatively a, a level um, surface. As you can see, you have the uh, nice window there for the bathroom. That's the port window. Now, on this side, you can see this black antenna. That is for your stereo. Now, you do have a little connection port right here, which that'll be for cable and I've seen some people go ahead and attach an antenna so they're able to get some local TV down below here this is where you would fill up for fresh water of course it's very limited on how much fresh water you can carry and then of course you have your city water connection all right folks over here behind the tire you can see of course you're gonna have your uh, electric connection and that is 30 amp 110 folks it is do not plug that thing into into 220 See, of course, your outside shower. Nice thing about an outside shower for those of you that are a little bit, you may be a little bit bigger, is that you have unlimited height, unlimited width out here, folks. So but you'll see you'll get both hot and cold water. And of course, this is your Aldi system. That's the exhaust. And then of course, on the back, notice how the back side slopes up. That makes it a little bit nicer when you're, when you're tra uh, trailing. And you can see, of course, it's a one-piece fiberglass roof. Makes it much easier for maintaining. Of course, this does have stabilizers, so you're able to pull those down. Now, here's a major difference now on the 2018, folks, is the fact that you're going to have an access door to the storage, so you're not having to get up underneath the seat. Now, right now, we have the spare tire underneath, underneath here, but this is going to be your storage. I'll show you from the inside when we get in there as well, but we grab it from here. And then, of course, you have this here, so that you're able to take your table from the outside. A lot of people will go ahead and leave the table out here. You know, they'll put an awning out here, put something out here, and just leave the sofa or the dinette laid down to a bed. And of course, then you have the 110 outlets uh, out here for whatever you would need. Now, the nice thing with the door, of course, you have the port window, and of course, this turns and, you know, will black things out for you, give you some privacy. And then, of course, you have the screen door that opens up across. So that way there, folks, if it's, if it's a nice day, you can leave the door open, leave that screen open there. The nice thing is the way it is, you can actually see that it's there. I don't know how many of you all may have walked into a screen, uh, screen door at the house, but that won't happen here, hopefully. And of course, you can see your LED light strip that's out outside here. So taking a look on the inside, you can see you have the nice linoleum or glucoleum floor. I'm just going to go ahead and peruse through here, let you kind of get an idea, and then we'll talk about things that are in here for you let you just kind of see what you've got here 
and we'll step on in and talk about it. So it kind of gives you an idea of what you've got. So up in the front here, you're going to see you're going to have your kitchen. So it's a two burner cooktop. Of course, you have your sink. You've got your little tank monitor over there, so you're able to check your tanks. Up above there, you can see you have one 10 outlets, USB port, 12 volt, which works out really nice. And then, of course, you have your RV refrigerator here. So now this is a three-way refrigerator. So you're able to put it on um, propane, you're able to put it on electric, or you're able to put it on battery. And battery is only to maintain coolness. And as you can see, this is the size of the refrigerator. Kind of give you an idea of what you're dealing with here. Of course, adequate storage back below the sink here. You can see they have a nice cutting board, and of course it has tab, the tab logo on there, and more storage under here. Makes it nice, as well as having um, storage under here as well. A little bit of storage, and you're able to see under there. So that's what you've got here. Up above, of course you can see you have your AM, FM, CD, stereo with the DVD player, and of course storage up there. On this side, of course, you can see your air conditioner. You can see your TV, and that is on a swivel. You see the Aldi system is right there. You can check out my uh, video on how to operate that. Nice thing with this power vent fan, you can open your windows um, and have the air come on through, or you can just have the air blowing directly down on you from that vent. Now, you can see on this particular window, I have the screen, I have the screen um, down. Now, you can do it that way, or if you want, you can go ahead and have it so that it's it's privacy. So you've got two different ways. Now you can see the way this table is here, you know, it swivels out of the way. You're able to swivel it several different ways. The nice thing with the bed, with the, with the inside kitchen, is the fact that this bed is 70, 70 inches wide by 73 inches in length. So the nice thing, what people like about the 73 is you're gonna sleep this direction, up to that way versus across. And then that way there's somebody that had to crawl over somebody else to get up to go to the bathroom or whatever. Now, the other nice thing about this, and let me just show you what you can do with this. I'm just going to remove the uh, side cushions here because I want to show you something you're able to do with this. Now, this has a little handle on it, and it makes it easy. So you pull it up, it unlocks, and, of course, that's where it makes the bed. So you can see now how long that bed is. And like I say, that's, that's, 73, inches, that's 73 inches long. Okay, but now the nice thing is, let's say you want to sit up and watch some TV. Well, all you're able to do is, folks, you can pull this up a little bit and see if you want to recline, have it rec recline a little bit so you can recline it. Or you can pull it and sit all the way up. So that's some benefits of, of uh, dealing with this. Let me put these cushions back in spot here. And we'll talk about it. So you can see you have, of course, adequate storage back behind here. You also have the stereo speakers back here. You have reading lights, of course you have LED lights in the roof, and then the other part you have is if you remove here, this is where you can get to underneath, so you can see how, how much storage you have. Now the next one, that's where you have your Aldi system, so if you were to go ahead and just move this table, you see how nice, nice and easy it was to move that table out of the way, under this cushion, this is where you have your Aldi system. Okay, so now you're able to go ahead and if you need to make some adjustments, you've got all, also your drain ports um, and valves and so forth. So you're able to get to that right underneath the, the cushion. So that's right there. So again, let me just kind of give you a, a look, look, see of, of what you're looking at in here. So this is again, the tab 320. And I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the new video here. And for more information on this particular camper or any others, remember to ask for Paul the Air Force Guy when you call, when you email, or if you stop by. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like mine, and I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you much. Have a great day.